Hey guys, welcome to my Monday Night Live. As you guys are jumping on, definitely say hello uh, and where you're watching from. I was just taking a peek. Um, I wanted to give a shout out uh, and I was trying to find the exact, uh, her booth name. And I, but anyway, we'll figure it out. So long story short, definitely say hello as you're jumping on. And tonight we are taking, if you guys remember, I think it was on, I'm trying to remember how, how long ago I ended up thrifting all these wood containers and I was out on, um, Pinterest and I had seen like some old, like some contain wood containers and they had paint, they were all painted uh, and they were kind of like distressed. And um, then the metal had like rusty. So we're going to really focus on one tonight because this is the first time I'm doing it. So I don't, maybe I should try with the small one first <laughs> because we, I wanted to add the rust to it. And um, I went and I found, um, so at Water Street Vintage, my friend Lori has a booth there and she sells Dixie Bell. So she kind of explained it to me that uh, you use the patina, which is iron. Uh, they have like three different, there's like iron, copper, and I believe it's bronze. And you then apply um, two coats. And then on the second coat, when it is still wet, you spray the patina. Um, and I watched a video to make sure because I had never, you know, done this before. I still haven't. This is the first time. Um, and basically, there's either you can put it in the spray bottle or you can even put it in one of these misting bottles. Uh, the one tip the gal did say was once um, you are done using it for your project, to take out the handle and put the top back on and then rinse this out really good because it will corrode. So um, that's a really good tip. Uh, we are getting really bad storms here right now in Appleton. I just heard uh, the rain hitting the roof. So a big storm cells coming through. I don't think that there will be any problems, but if there are, um, you guys will know why. <laughs> so let's see who is all on. Um, let's see here. We have Christine, uh, the Fairbanks family. Hello, hello. Paige is on. Hello, Paige. Uh, Dawn, Carol, uh, looks like Mary Ellen. I'm going to move this over a tad. Um, hello, Anne. She says, hello. Um, I am glad you are doing this. I have two ice cream buckets in my stash. I know. We'll see it. Um, it was really cool watching the gal that did this. Uh, she, when she sprayed it, she kind of, it like kind of ran and that's the look that I was going for, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, all right. So let's see. We have Ina is on. Hello, Kelly. Hello. How was the vintage shop hop, Kelly? Did you make it to Water Street or to at, like the Appleton area? Um, she said, hello, hopefully everyone is doing well tonight. Hello, hello. All right. Um, there's also a yellow and green spray too. Oh yes, I forgot to mention that. So this is the green. There is um, a blue spray and a yellow spray. So, um, and it's really unique. It's like, depending on what you spray this on is what it's going to change. So basically if you use iron and then you spray the green on it, it turns rusty. But if you use the iron and I think if you spray the blue or no, no, actually if you do the copper and then you spray the, maybe the green, then that turns coppery color. <laughs> Or like, you know, like that green. Uh, let's see here. Um, oh, hello, Terry. Thanks for joining. Hey, Corrine. Hello, Lisa. Oh, my gosh. A lot of you on. Oh, 
Ann says we lost power. It just came back on. So you guys, if, if anything were to happen, you'll know. Um, hello, Pam. Wow. Lots of you. Oh my gosh. Everybody's joining Amanda free spirits. Uh, all right. Um, Kelly said, I made it to all three of your shops. It was amazing. I also won a door prize from water street. Oh yeah. I like it when I hear, um, of somebody winning door prizes that I know. Okay. I was just going to see if we could take this out, but we can't. All right. So let's get started. Um, and hey, Becky, thanks for joining. Yeah, you can mix them too. Okay. I didn't realize um, you could mix, but all right. So some of the tips that she told me, well, not just me, but everybody that was watching her video, I'm sure. Um, you want to shake this very well. You also want to have a stir stick because uh, uh, you want to continuously be mixing this because um, it has actual metal flakes in it and the flakes settle. So you want to keep rinsing it. The other thing she mentioned is to use like an old brush, which I don't think I have an old one unless I use this one, which I don't want to. All right. Maybe I'll use the small one. But yeah, she said to use an old brush because it gets kind of yucky. So um, what we're going to do, the other thing, um, I did not realize it when I bought it and I did find out on, um, that watching her is that there is like, um, if you are applying it to a metal, it's like a metal, almost like a metal protector. It protects it. And that way, um, it doesn't can like when this activates the rust, it doesn't keep on rusting all the way through your metal. So that is something to also know, which I did not know. So uh, we're going to see what happens. Uh, do they have to go over special paints? Nope. Um, just if you're using it on metal, she recommended it's like the first, like the top, the one coat. And honestly, um, if it rusts a little bit, I think it or keeps on getting rusty. I think it'll be fine. Uh, she had pieces, this was really cool too. Um, she had pieces that she lives in Florida, this gal who, um, I watched her video and she was saying that she, her pieces, uh, she had this lion for instance, and she did like painted them all up. She used all the different, um, she used iron, uh, the, the copper and then the other one and she like intermixed it and it looks so cool how there's like little bits of you know like the green and then the rust and um she said she put it outside though she did not seal it afterwards and she had it outside and she's like we get a ton of rain down here and really hot heat and it was holding up well and she said it's been out there for like ages so i thought that was really cool um, okay, that's what I was trying to remember the video that I watched. Um, hold on. I see her. She's got blonde hair. Uh, she actually went to the IOD conference. I saw her there too. She's on the IO. She goes on like the Dixie Bell page and the IOD page, I think, too. Um, let me think. Oh, maybe. Do I still have it up? Let me check to see if I still have it up. Bear with me for one moment. I do, I do, okay, you guys. Okay, her, um, it's called Beginner Rust and Patina by Dixie Bell. Learn how to use Dixie Bell Patina from start to finish. And it's uh, Pick and Boots Vintage. So that's Pick and Boots Vintage. And her name is Shannon. All right, that's who it is. Um, and then if you are local to like the Appleton, Londonish area, my friend Lori has this available in her booth and that's where I ended up getting this. So, um, yes, so you can get it as well. Um, oh, Shannon is amazing. Yes, she is. She's very good. Okay. The sprays do need to go over the 
bronze, copper, and iron patina that you have there. Yeah. Yeah, the sprays do need to, yes, they do. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna apply the patina, or apply the um, patina, the iron. And then once we apply it, then we're gonna spray over it. So, um, all right, let's see if we missed anything else. Can you scuff sand the metal to make it rust better? I don't even think I have to do that, Kareen, because it sounds like um, it's just gonna keep rusting. <laughs> So, because I don't have that first coat sealer, there's like a special sealer that you can um, put on there. I don't know what is going on outside. There's like a flashing light. So, um, okay, I thought I'd seen some just spraying it on any painted surface. Nope, um, you have to spray it on the actual patina. And then there are three different kinds. And depending on which spray you use, it totally transforms it different. So the look I am going for is rust. And then to get rust, you would use iron and green. Um, so that is what we're going to do. So let's start first. I want to paint this. I'm thinking, I'm, I don't know. I'm thinking farm fresh. What do you guys think? Farm fresh? I think farm fresh. All right. Lisa says Shannon is fun to watch. Yes, she is. She's very, very knowledgeable. I remember one time, I'm trying to think, um, I had seen something or I wanted to do something and I, I searched and her video came up and I watched that too. So, all right, let's go ahead and, okay. Kelly says she loves farm fresh. Me too. All right, let's go ahead and all right, and I'm going to just kind of just roll with it and just paint. So we're using Farm Fresh from DIY and so I don't sell the Dixie Bell just so you guys know. <clears throat> but when I was talking about trying this everyone said the Dixie Bell was by far the best. And when I watched Shannon's video, she's like, she said she's been totally obsessed with this since they came out with it. She wants to um, patina everything, which I could see why, because I love all things rusty and old and all that good stuff too. Okay. All right, so I'm just going to apply one even coat to this. We'll probably start two of them. So what color should we do the second one? We'll do Farm Fresh on this one. And if we get far, if we'll do all three if we have we, we decide to. All right. I had um, Old 57 out here as well. I got super lucky at a booth building last week and someone had their Dixie Belle all 50% off. Oh my gosh, that's a really good deal. Wow. All right, uh, okay. So if you guys haven't seen, I did upload my video. Everything's been going great with my internet now. So I've been uploading my videos on time. Um, I'm making some changes to my website. So I worked on that today too. Ay, ay, ay. Everything takes so, so long. Oh, white. Okay, so Kareen says we should do white. Um, Kelly says, what about a creamy color like cake batter? I like both of those suggestions. All right. Don says I sound tired. <laughs> 
I had a really long weekend and today um, I am trying to add some stuff, you guys. And um, when you try to add things to your plates, you know, when you're trying to get stuff going, that's when it's just a lot. I mean, once I get everything going, it will be totally good. But yeah, I am a little tired. Yeah. But that's okay. Plus, I try to stick to my schedule, get up early, go work out, you know, do the things. <laughs> uh, all right. So Anne says whiter cream as well. Okay. We'll do, I think I have, we'll do a tarnish. Well, maybe we'll do a tarnished pearl or... I'm trying to think what I have over here. I think white. I like it. I like it. Um, okay, let's, and then I'm gonna dry this and then uh, we'll do a second coat. I don't, I think this was like, um, this was not an ice cream bucket, you guys. I think this was like a, um, I don't even know. Like, I feel like it was a nut nut or a nut, nut holder because it's got this thing in the middle. I remember my grandma had one, like, a, but hers was a little different. I don't remember it being like that. Okay, let me grab. All right, and let's go. Let's dry this. I'm using Farm Fresh right now. So, Pamela says, what about a peachy color on another one? I'm trying to see here what colors I have all sitting out on my desk. They're over there. So you guys, on Thursday, um, you guys are going to be able to see my trailer for my podcast over on YouTube. So just so you guys know, I <clears throat> I uploaded it. I just have to do a little bit of writing a description, you know, all that good stuff. And then I'm going to release it on Thursday. And that's the trailer. And what a trailer is, it basically tells you guys what the podcast is about. So, um, yeah, so that'll be fun. In the process of editing um, the ones that I've taped. And I have my interviews scheduled. So you guys are going to get um, be able to see my interviews. Oh, <laughs> Kelly says, uh, please no peach. I don't even think, well, um, there, I don't even think there is a peach here. I would have to become a mixologist if we wanted peach. Okay. All right. So now I just want to, I'm going to paint the inside. And then when I'm letting this dry the rest of the way, then what we'll do is we will start the white one or the cream colored or whatever color I find. All right. Okay, this is a little... This like thing inside here is kind of difficult to paint around <laughs> with this long brush. Um, but yeah, so anyways, my so my podcast trailer will be up on Thursday. So you guys will be able to check that out. It's not super long. And um, you'll be able to then, uh, you know watch my first episode then on March 14th. So excited for that. 
and I um, let my friend Tara listen to it, and she said that she actually got a little teary because um, in my first episode, I actually talk about why I started my business. So you guys will have to let me know what you think. All right. Um, cowgirl coral is about as close to, by, to peach as I like. <laughs> a little mustard color stippled in works well. Also, I use that a lot in mixed media art mixed um, with a burnt orange and dark brown. Finally got home. Man, now I can watch. Okay. Hello, Nancy. Thanks for joining. All right. Okay. Perfect. Okay, so we have coat one on here. And I am going to close this up. And then I am going to wrap this in, in this so it doesn't dry out. And let's do the next one. Okay. So what colors do I have over here? We're going to do just kind of like a, a whitish. It's tarnished pearl. So I have a little bit of tarnished pearl here. So I thought we'll use this one. All right. Uh, another tip on this, you guys, um, close your container, your um, the patina container before you spray um, this, the patina spray. Otherwise, you can activate everything that's in the container, too, just so you know. Okay, where? Oh, that's not good. <clears throat> Well, I want it more of my, I guess we're going to do this. Oh. Well, that's okay. Like, where did I put it? Where, where? All right, let's go ahead and get this going. This one, I think, is probably going to take, like, two coats. And then we'll start on the metal on that one once this is painted. Oh my gosh, I know. Amanda said peach is the color of the year too, right? Oh, I don't know. Like I just, I've never been like a super huge fan. And I'm sorry if there's people that love peach. Um. I have never, like, really, I don't think I've ever decorated with peach either. But doesn't, but it's the color of the year. So I wonder who comes up with the color of the year. Who actually says, oh, this is the color of the year? Is it the, like, the Sherwin Williams of the world and, um, like, those people that decide or, or what? Oh, Amanda said um, she loved the table that I did um, in today's video. The wax made it pop. Oh, my gosh, you guys. I I was loving it, but I was like, it needs something. It definitely needs something. And I'm like, we're going to add some dark wax to it. And it just made all that detail pop. And what I'm really loving, you guys, is that I love how all the products that I, I'm offering, they all kind of intermit, they all like intermix, like I can use them all. So um, I used fusion paint, but I used the DIY wax, which just was so good, looks so good. And it changed up the paint. I used Inglenook and it just, it I don't know, it gave it such a warm feel to it. So I loved it. All right. Um, 
Let's see here. Terry says the colors I mentioned are for the rust color. Sorry, I hit send before I was done. That's okay. Um, let's see. I was just going to ask the same question. Who decides that? Uh, it looks like Pan Pantone. Pantone? So, well, they're not very good. Um, the one year I remember that they came up with colors, I was like, oh, I like these colors. Uh, but now this year, not so much. All right. So yes, I am starting to get um, ready and everything or everything ready for my Water Street vintage uh, flip that I'm going to be doing. Uh, I have. When I was getting everything ready over there, restocking, um, like all my IOD and my DIY and like the booth itself, I was sitting on the floor and I said, gosh, just sitting on the floor looking around really inspires like you or inspires me, I should say. I don't know about you guys, but I came up with so many ideas when I was in there. I'm like, okay, this is how it's going to go. All right. Okay, so I need to ask you guys, has anybody used this spray before? Or is it, are we all like, do? am I like the guinea pig again? Because um, I have a question to ask. My question is, since I'm using DIY paint, do I need to seal it or can I just roll with it? That's my question. No one should be offended by anyone's color preferences. We all have different tastes. It's all good. Oh, absolutely. I I would never say anything about anybody's color preference. Because I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to roll with it and just put the DIY paint or leave it as is. And then I'm um, going to apply the patina and let that dry. And then apply the next. I have never used it. I would think you would have to seal it. Okay. So Kelly thinks we have to seal it. All right. Maybe I should have painted one ahead of time uh, and sealed it. All right, but this is a learning curve for me too, so I did not think about that. Call me unprepared. Um, I haven't used it, but have been curious about it. I love rust. Okay, I do too. That's why I'm like, we're doing it. We're doing it. Okay. You guys, guess who's not on tonight? Stephanie again. Now I'm getting worried and, and she hasn't uh, been on the replay either. I don't know how to get a hold of her. Oh yeah. Well, yeah, I can do that. Why don't I do that? So on that one, we're going to use paint with a sealer in it. So what color should we use for the paint with the sealer? Good idea, Kelly. Um, oh, oh, good. Um, Paige said she's going to try to reach out to Stephanie. Okay, good. Well, that's awesome that you know who she, like her beyond attending the lives. Because I was like, I don't, she always attends my lives. And now I haven't seen her for like three weeks, you guys. And she's always been the first one on. Okay. Let me finish this. I'm just going to add a little bit to the top. Okay, and then actually, 
met her here. Awesome. Well, that's good. I like it that you guys are making friends. Okay. I'm going to just set that one aside because I'm not going to paint the whole inside. Okay, so I have this one, you guys. What color should I paint it that has a sealer in it? Let's see. What do I got all here? Hmm. I'm trying to see. Um, I haven't used it either, but I agree with others. You should seal it. Okay, I am going to seal it. That is... So this one, I'm going to use a sealer and I am going to grab um, French, the French eggshell. Oh gosh, where did I put my, <gasps> my opener, you guys? Okay. I think, oh, good Lord, I think... I'm going to just, I'm going to bang it on the ground, you guys, because I don't know. I remember, I think I put it in, oh, now my dog's barking because she thinks somebody's here. All right, I'm going to heat gun it. Uh, let's see. Um, this color is French eggshell. Um, elderberry is by Fusion. Oh. I just think that the, I like elderberry too, but it's more, I don't know if I have it here. Um, it's more, um, oh my gosh, I got to find my top opener. Where do you think I put it, you guys? I was organizing stuff. I think I put it in the other room. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> oh, for the love of Pete. Who's Pete? Okay. I'm going to try one more time with the hair dryer or with the heat gun. I was moving stuff about. Now, where would I have put it? Oh my gosh, you guys. If I had it, I know that the heat gun and this would get it off. Okay. I use a screwdriver sometimes to open them. Okay. <laughs> I'll go grab a screwdriver. Oh boy. to see here okay oh my lord you guys i am okay let's see if that loosened it all hello kelly that is what i do too okay <laughs> um so i'm not the only one that has a hard time opening the jars no but i have been really like okay i'm gonna just try to move some stuff here I moved a whole bunch of stuff in here and yeah, but it's not just you guys. It's me too. Cause of the sealer. It's the sealer that <laughs> gets us. Oh my gosh. And that's why I have that. Oh my gosh. Here it is. <sighs> okay. We're going to heat it up one more time. I probably ruined the top with the screwdriver. Okay. Now that I heated it up. Let's see here. Oh my gosh. It's been a little bit since I opened this. <laughs> so learn from me, you guys. Okay. Make sure. Make sure you, um, Wipe the tops off before you put the lids back on, okay? <laughs> oh. Okay, I cannot get this open. So, we're going to pick a different color. 
How about it? This would have been so perfect. Okay, we're gonna. Okay. Mine too. LOL, Kelly. Uh, my tops never get ruined. I use them all the time. Mine too. Okay. So what do you guys do? You just shove it back on. You put, um, put your screwdriver in, up in there. Feel like something. Oh, there. I heard it kind of like. I think it kind of broke loose a bit. Sorry, I'm late. Warm water? Okay. You guys can watch me struggle here. I keep a little thing of Vaseline by my fusion and put it around the top. It helps me to be able to open my paint. Thank you, Rachel. <laughs> I'm glad that we're all using run that hot water over it. Run hot water over it. Okay. I'm going to just try this one more time. Pretty soon I'm going to need to use your heat gun. Yeah, I'm going to use my heat gun right now. <clears throat> I really want to use this color. Otherwise, I would um, not be doing this. Oh, there. Thank the Lord. This is like the best tool ever. And the heat gun. And this is why it was stuck. Because the all of this around the edges. Okay. Okay, here we go. Now it's time to paint. So what we're doing is we are going to, um, as those are drying, we're going to do one that has a sealer built in. Because we all agreed we think it needs to have be sealed. Oh my, thank God it just went there. in there. Oh my gosh, you guys, that was us. I was on the struggle bus. Majorly on the struggle bus. Okay. I think this is going to look really cool with rust going down it. Okay. So once we get this painted, then what we're going to do is I'm going to let this dry. We're going to come back. I want to seal that one. And then we're going to come back. Hopefully this one will be dry by that point. And then we're going to add the first layer of the patina. I should have had these um, painted, but I was so busy today. I didn't have a moment of time to do anything else. So I'm sorry, guys. That's what lives are for. You guys get to see it all and chat. All right. Someone told me I had to keep her moving and I'm keeping her moving and I'm painting. I'm gonna keep it moving. <clears throat> redeemed. I was going to try finding you, got a stencil and a grab bag that says redeem. From what not do you want it? Mine got stuck. I asked my husband to help me get it unstuck, and he gets upset with me and said I need to wipe the paint off the edges. Still sticks. <laughs> All right. Okay, so we're all. Good Lord. All right, that's looking good. Let's get this side, and then we'll get the, the bottom and then the top. All right. I almost feel like... I think I'm going to only do one coat, and then I'm going to kind of distress it a tad. All right, and oh my, all this prep work to 
just to, to paint this, right? Okay. All right. Perfect. I love it. I love it. I think this looks so good. Uh, Pamela says this color is so pretty. Amanda says the best kind of humor to have. Uh, or Dawn says, Amanda, the best kind of humor to have. <laughs> okay. Um, Paige, yeah, wiping doesn't help me either. I even use wet wipes. Hey, I've used the wet wipes too, and I don't think it helps either. So I think I'm going to have to try that Vaseline technique. Okay. Yeah, I love these buckets, you guys. I think they're so cool. Um, this one's actually in really, really good condition. So... What do you guys think of that color um, Ingle Nook? I'm really liking those for those colors for like spring. Um, like this color and that Ingle Nook. I just think it's so fun. Okay, let me. Oh, I was going to ask you, Kelly, did you um, find, did your mom find bird baths, vintage old bird, bird baths? I was going to, I didn't get your message right away. So I'm so sorry. I like the Ingle Nook a lot. Fusion goes on pretty flawlessly. Yes, it does. It's, it's really good. Um, the Vaseline works if you remember to put it on. <laughs> oh, Kelly says I'm a good painter. Well, thank you. Yep. It's so funny, you guys. So my husband, um, uh, this year he built uh, this little um, ice shanty and um, he put on this door while we had this warm weather and he's like, oh, the door needs to get painted. Oh, you're such a good painter, honey. Can't, look at how fast you painted that door. Can't you go paint it? I'm like, that's not my, I didn't start that project. I have my, a bunch of my own projects. Remember, I'm getting my PhD. <laughs> so I'm like, no, sorry. But yeah, he tried to use that. You're such a good painter. Um, my husband does not like painting at all. I actually enjoy it um, a lot. Okay, and I am going to paint the whole inside eventually, just not right now. Because I want to get this rolling. Okay. Um... Uh, let's see here. No, she didn't find one. I have one. I will probably end up giving her. I don't, uh, the Vaseline. Let's see. Okay. This one is French eggshell. Yes. This one is French eggshell. All right. Uh, Susan said she tried, um, Vaseline and she thought it was messy and I worried it would get in my paint. Let's just say I'm messy. LOL. That's what I was worried about getting in the paint. I don't know. It I mean it it must work. Everybody's been everyone's doing it, right? Oh okay. Putting that on there. Okay. We're gonna just take this and we are going to move it right over here. And then we're going to seal this. 
I'm going to distress it a bit and then we're going to seal it. Oh yeah, I had a box I was going to open here, you guys. I didn't even, I should, I should tell my husband to grab that box by the back door. All right, I just want this to look kind of aged a bit. It really could have gone, gotten another, another coat. All right. Well, that is going to have to do, and let's dry it, and I'm going to seal it, and then we are going to hopefully be almost ready for the iron. dry around the top so we can get that going. How am I liking the baby wipes for distressing? They're okay. I like them. I forgot to grab, um, forgot to grab some, oh my gosh, now we have problems with this. I forgot to grab a uh, wet paper or wet, um, rig. So, Let's see, I do use this to loosen this. All right, uh, Diane says that she uses a piece of cling wrap on her sealer jars and that helps with reopening. That's a good idea too, cling wrap. I am suspicious of crafters who aren't a little messy. <laughs> I am too. Are they really a crafter if they're not messy? Every every crafter's got a little mess, right? I'm just going to seal it all. Okay. Um, let's see. Okay, so we're gonna let this dry and then we're gonna come back. I'll get the inside later. I like it. I just wanna make sure I got around the bottom a little bit, just because I want it to like kind of drip down. Okay. All right. We'll get the inside in a minute. Um, okay. Then that's done. Let's see how the other one's doing. All right, let's see here. Carolyn says, our storms will be here soon in Indiana. Oh, no. Just don't shake paint before opening. I stir my paint if, if it needs it. Oh, when you have something inside, I'm assuming. I have been using the saran wrap now. Okay, that's still wet. Okay, we're going to try to zap this and make it move along a little bit quicker, quicker, faster, sooner. I'm already loving all these containers though. I love the um, farm fresh. I love the white. Um, and I think this is looking really good too. Okay. 
Okay. Oh. I missed a little bit on the handle. That's okay right now. We're going to roll with it and then uh, when I paint the inside, then that's when that will go. Kelly said she likes the Klingon idea, the Klingon. That's good. Almost dry, and then we're going to go with this. on here that oh boy um the uh message on here said that where did i read it uh our patina paints are resilient outdoors lasting for up to 15 years and are non-hazardous so that's interesting 15 years outdoors Pretty good. Okay. I think we're I think we're good, guys. Or as good as we're gonna get. Paint insides with a darker color. Oh, that's a good idea too. That's interesting. Um, that she drills a hole in the top of her her paint. So I'll I'll let uh, everybody read this. Um, that's interesting. She then uses it like a little squirt bottle, huh? Um, paint and okay. Uh, all right, so we got this done. Let's start, um, okay guys, so you're gonna want to use a brush that uh, you don't care that you can throw away, from what I understand. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, I'm just using like a chip brush. Okay. You think both my scissors are gone. I'm falling apart tonight, you guys. Falling apart. Oh, my Lord. There. Thank God for a screwdriver, right? Hey, Kim. Thanks for joining. Oh, that's a good idea, Debbie. She says if Ginger um, Sheik will participate, have her do um, the Rusty Krusty with the patina. She's really She really enjoys the Rusty Crust items. You need a tool belt along with your apron. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> yes, I do, Anne. All right. Here we go, guys. Okay. So, of course, there's a tab on it. Okay. So, we're going to... Dip. I'm gonna grab this. Okay. And so she just said, put a layer of it. It doesn't, to me, it does not have to be perfect. Oh dear. Oh, a little rusty, crusty there. Hold on. Well, that did not go exactly how I wanted it, but okay. All right, so I'm just adding a thin layer of this to the metal. Oh, that's the other thing too. She said, 
don't just paint it on, like dab it on. Like, um, that's right, I forgot about that part. Okay. So, kind of gonna just dab it on. I'm gonna put it on this um, top portion first. And then what I'll do is I'm gonna go and add it to the bottom. Okay. All right, I just wanna make sure we have it stirred up good. She kept emphasizing the stirring up part. And two coats, we gotta do two coats. So um, what I'm gonna do is I am going to uh, give it a zap. Hopefully I can zap it and hopefully it doesn't harm it. Right? Okay. So I'm just putting this on the actual metal. And a little bit is getting on the, um, the rest, but that's okay because I kind of want... I kind of want it to um, ooze down a little bit or drip down or not be perfect. I want it to look old and rusty and just like this is old. Okay. I'm going to put the top on. Okay. You can also dab on the spray just like the patina instead of spraying it. Okay, good to know. All right. Okay. Uh, what did I miss? What are you putting on? Um, I am putting on the liquid patina iron from um, Dipsy Bell. Oh, oh, ask that to make is it's to make it rusty. Yes. Are you going to do that other metal piece? I will. I'm just going to try to get these done first. But yes, I'm going to do those up there too. All right. All right. I'm just going to do like a little zap. I don't know if I should be heating this. Because you have to put two coats on me, set. So just so you guys know. All right. I'm going to let that just dry for a minute. I'm going to grab the white bucket. like this gold a little bit. All right. I think this one will be a lot easier to put that on because it's much wider. All right. So while that's drying, I am going to seal this real quick and then we're going to go back to that metal. You all, you can all, okay. So I just, oh my gosh, it already, it already stuck. Having a rough night, guys. <sighs> All right. Oh, before I seal it, I do want to distress it a little. Just a tad. You guys think I need to do a second coat on the white bucket? 
I was going to distress the heck out of it, make it look all old. Um, before I distress, you guys tell me. I was just going to kind of distress the, distress it like crazy. Okay, I'm waiting. I'm going to wait for one second and then I'm going to go. Okay, nobody's talking. <laughs> All right. Oh, maybe I should have done a second coat. All right, I'll do a second coat. I don't, I'm not liking it. And then you go, okay? <laughs> All right, so let's see. Maybe because it got wet. All right, um, I think I am just going to go with it. I'm going to kind of just roll with it. Make it look all worn. Sorry to make more work for you. Oh, that's okay. No one's making you. Nobody makes more work for me. I probably just make more work for myself. I just kind of want it to look like it's old and worn. And so that's what we're, I'm going to do. I'm just going to kind of roll with it and play off the imperfections of the painting. That's what we'll do. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to dry it and see if I like it before I continue on with the distressing. All right. So I was kind of embracing the imperfections of it and I was just distressing the heck out of it. I think I like it. What do you guys think? I do like it better now that you're distressing it more. <laughs> Good. Yes. Um, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to kind of try to distress it and make it look all old and worn. Like, like it's been used a ton, a ton of times. Oh, I just lost a bunch of people. All right. Okay, go. All right. Yeah, normally I would have put two quotes on it, but I'm just going to, like I said, embrace the imperfections of it. It is okay to mention another channel where the rusting products are used a lot. Is it okay? Is it somebody who does like demos? Absolutely. I like all people. Rusty white and wood chippy goodness. I know I, I'm liking it. All right, Mary Ellen says she loves it. Thank you. Yeah, I think it's turning out good now. Oh, <laughs> Ellen goes, great. It's Yvonne from Ginger Chic. Yeah, I heard she likes, she does really good at Rusty Krusty. I'm going to have to tune into that. I have been... 
kind of busy. No, right, guys? Okay. I like how it looks so vintage and old. I just want to add a little bit more. Okay, I'm really liking it so far. I think it looks really good, all just like worn. Yeah, I like it. All right, I don't know why you couldn't say something others do. Yeah, no, I don't I honestly don't care. I know some people do, I think, but not me. Um, there are so many amazing creators out there, you guys. And everyone has their own, of course, their own unique style. You guys, wait till you hear what I just did. I set that in, in there. Go figure, right? Only I would do something so silly. Oh, ay, ay, ay. It's all good. It's all good. All right. I know Ellen says she was just being polite. That is really nice. I'm glad that, yes. But no, it's totally fine. Seriously, you guys. I love to hear, um, you know, like if there's something that I have not done before. I've never done Rusty and uh anything rusty so like when i when i got these buckets that was like what i thought right away like oh i should do something really rusty and like it would be so cool and i didn't know if there was a technique so does she use um the does she use this product to do it or does she have her own fun technique oh yeah I know I have to reach out to her. I wanted to make sure I had the contract in my hand and signed um, before I reached out to anybody. But um, I But yeah, I'll definitely reach out to her and see if she's available. I think she'd be awesome to have. Um, everybody loves her. And I used to watch her all the time, too. And I love that she has a booth. Okay. All right, let me. Okay, so this I'm going to let dry. And I just want to get the top a little bit. And then we're going to let this dry. And okay. She did some mirrors um, lately with the most spectacular crackle. Ooh, I love it. Okay, so she uses uh, the same products I'm using and then uh, combines the rusting color. She loves crusty and chippy things like you do. Yes, I, I know. Normally I don't ever try to replicate it. I just buy stuff that's all rusty and crusty. All right, let's see here. I am going to zap it one more time, and then we're going to put the second coat on, and when it's wet, guys, then we roll with it. All right. 
Let's do it. Yeah, I did. I thought it would protect it a little bit more. So Kelly asked if I put big top on the metal. And I did do a little bit just because I thought um, it might um, protect it a tad um, from rusting all the way through. Okay. All right, let's do this. Okay. And I'm going to do the stippling again, like I did. Oh boy, that's okay. I, I got a little, some like little marks on the color. That's fine, that's fine. <laughs> I say it's fine, I'm just like, I like everything to be just so guys. Okay, I'm going to do this on the bottom. Okay. Now remember, this is the first time I'm doing this, so if it doesn't turn out, it's 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 not my fault, right? Oh shoot! I scraped something. Hold on, let me look to see what I scraped. Just a little bit here. Okay. Yep, right there I did a little bit, but that's okay. All right, we are going to put that there. I'm going to shut this up. Oh, gosh, I probably should have had this. All right. So she said to use in both the, that spray and here. She said it gives it different looks. So we'll see. I'm just going to do it like this. Um, yes, her booths were very busy. Um, it was hard to make your way into them. Oh, let's see. Okay. Maybe I should have put some in here too. All right. Um, should I add more? All right. I'm just going to. Someone tell me to stop. <laughs> Someone tell me to stop. Okay. I was hoping it would kind of run a little bit. It didn't run down, even though it was wet. I was kind of hoping it would. 
Okay, let's see here. Um, looks really good. Yes, sir. Uh, let's see, Kelly, that's uh, great. I'm about four hours away, but I'm definitely going to try to make it to the fall event. I fully plan on going to the fall event, bringing my daughter. Woohoo! It's an immediate, it's not an immediate reaction. Oh, good to know. As I am squirting the heck out of this, you guys. I was just, one thing I was hoping for is that I was hoping it would like kind of ooze down. Maybe I, that's okay. Okay, we're going to just set this aside and we're going to now tackle this one. Um, all right, so Corrine, uh, maybe, oh, 30 minutes. Okay. Corrine says it takes roughly 30 minutes. Oh, I didn't know that. I was, I, th oh, she did talk about that. Shannon um, from Pick and Boots talked about how some of them react sooner. Like the, I think the green um, reacts sooner. Okay. All right, so let me, I'm just going to, all right, um, it might drip down, you can respray it. Oh, okay, so Highway 138 says I have to leave it on for a couple hours. Like I said, I've never done this, but I'm excited to try. Well, I am I feel bad because I was hoping like to show you guys on here. Um, she did say that, like I said, each of them react different. So, oh. <laughs> I should have, I should have, I didn't realize that uh, Avon from Ginger Chic does, um, plays around with this. I would have watched her video. But um, honestly, though, when I watched that Shannon from Pick and Boots, I'm doing exactly what she did. I really am, guys. Okay. So putting that on. I'm just going to do this one right away, too. No worries. It'll be a cliffhanger. <laughs> right? All right. I'm just going to put the first layer on all of these. And then we're going to take a peek at that first one that I sprayed. And this one I'm not at... Um, I'm going to stipple the second part, the second, um, the first one, I'm just doing a layer. I'm just going to put a layer on here. Okay. All right. Got the first layer down on both of those. We're just going to set this like that. I'm going to close this up and we are going to check this yeah it it doesn't really look like it's rusting at all maybe a little bit right there oh it's kind of it's it looks like it's kind of dripping rust i like that I kind of like, I like the drippiness. I was hoping that that's, 
Should I spray any more? Okay, let's see. But you can do both green and blue on an item. Okay, you have to put the iron stuff on and then let it dry and then add one more coat and spray or dab on. I only use the green, not the blue. Okay, so I have the green. I did that. I put one coat on, I let it dry. We put another coat on and then I sprayed. On the two large buckets, are you going to rust up the metal at the top? Yes, I am, Patty. I um, did not do anything yet because I was trying to uh, work uh, a little, like at least try to get some of this done so you guys could see it. <laughs> so, um, uh, Sonnet said she was going to put that on the top metal later. Yep, I was. I just um, was, like I said, I wanted to get this kind of going so you guys could see it. I didn't, uh, I didn't think it was, I, uh, I do like how this looks a little rusty on the way down. That's what I was kind of go. I was hoping that when I hit it, it would actually like rust down, like kind of like go down a bit. We'll see, we'll see. And she said you can keep adding to it as well. So um, maybe if I don't like something, I can maybe add a round and then add more. We'll see. I like how thick it looks though. It looks like rusty. There is a little bit here that I'm gonna probably have to add more to. Okay. All right, spray some more. Oh my gosh, spray some more. <laughs> you guys want me to spray some more? I don't know if that's a good idea. Okay. I sprayed some more, even though I don't know if that was a good idea, but oh, I sprayed it. Some got over there too. Okay. Oh yeah. Yes. You can add more to it. Okay, good. You may not have had your iron paint on thick enough before spraying. This looks pretty thick, but I can always add more, I guess. And I shook it really good. So I made sure about that. Um, don't be scared. <laughs> Can I, is it that noticeable that I'm getting scared? I'm getting scared. Like I'm doing something wrong, right? Oh my. Oh my gosh. That's awesome. Okay. I give up. I tried four times to leave the suggestion to use your crackle stamp, but the message goes way too fast and she misses it. Maybe if everyone does it, she will finally see it, LOL. Okay, so use your crackle stamp, but, oh, okay, so um, where should I use my crackle stamp? On here or on this one? Sorry, guys, I'm trying to do both. I'm trying to do this and read and, you know, multitask. Crackle on the big one. On this big one? Yeah, that would be good. All right, I zap, I zap that. All right, it needs to be sprayed while paint is still wet. Yep, the first coat has to dry, though. So there's two coats. Where I'm drying the first coat. I put on the second coat on that one, and I sprayed it. But it did, she did say the first coat has to be sprayed. Um, dry. Yeah. All right. Oh, I missed something. second I was like what is this but it's the metal piece you guys okay I want to 
I want to get the first coat dry so we can do the second coat. I'm going to put it on. This one I'm putting on really thick. Um, okay. All right. Okay, I'm going to let that dry a little bit more and then we're going to dab it on. Um, Dennis is dab it, the iron on um, instead of brushing it on and put it on really thick. you guys everybody's got to see this this is really funny <laughs> you spray like a little girl <laughs> i was nervous it was the first time i ever did it oh my god i was i did spray like a little girl oh my god that's funny okay let's see this one looks pretty good Okay, we're going to do it again. Ooh. It's changing. Oh, it actually is kind of rusty now. It looks rusty coming down. Okay. All right, guys. We're going to we're going to dab this on. We're going to Oh my gosh, I thought I lost you guys. Okay, I'm going to mix it up like she told me to. Every time I do that, I spill it. It's not good. And okay, set that there. All right, so here we go. We're going to dab it on really thick. You guys would be really proud of me if you saw this. <laughs> you can see how thick it is. Okay. Okay, I'm putting it on really nice and thick, like you guys suggested. And I'm dabbing it, just like um, you guys said to do. Okay, I'm going to do it on the top one, and then I'll spray This one I think will be better. Okay. I don't know if you guys can see how thick I'm making this. This is pretty thick. I'm liking it. Okay, so I put it on nice and thick, like you guys said. Okay, I'm going to set this down. Oh, boy. Okay. Okay. Now I got my spray. I'm trying to spray. Okay. I'm going to set that there. All right. And then we're going to check the other one. Let's see here. I feel like. Well, if I have to do it again, I have to do it again. Right, guys? So. 
So I put that on really nice and thick. All right, let's get this this one too. Oh, okay. Joan's reminding everyone. Thank you, Joan. Thank you. All right, let's do this one next. Kind of sad. I thought it was going to be more of like, I would say an, an immediate reaction, but I thought it was going to, you know, happen a little bit quicker, sooner, faster. So, okay. I'm going to do the same thing here. We're going to stipple it on. If you heat dry after the second coat of spray, the rust will show up quicker. Oh, good to know. Okay. I'm going to get this on here. We're going to heat dry it. Martina, you sound like an expert. Thank you for suggestions. Because this is, like I said, the first time I'm trying it. Oh, Robin says she's a little late to the party. That's okay. Oh, Dina says hi from Ca Canada. Oh, Dina, you're in Canada? Did you move to Canada or are you visiting Canada? Okay. Okay. All right, I'm putting this on thicker, like you guys suggest it. Oh, she's on vacation, she said. Awesome. Well, fun. Is it cold there in Canada or is it nice and warm like here in Wisconsin? We had seasonably warm weather today. I was outside painting. Okay, I'm almost done with this first row. Then we're going to go to the second one. All right. Oh, you guys. I should have probably tried this before I did it, huh? It's good, though. It's all good. I'll at least know if I ever want to buy any of the other colors. I really like how um, Shannon from Pick and Boots did multiple colors. I could see how it can get a little addicting. I wanted to do something. I thought I have these planters outside and she said it holds up so well. And then when I read on here, it holds up really well too um, in the elements that I thought that would be kind of fun to do like containers for your yard. <gasps> oh my gosh. So I have, oh, I could do that with, um, I have these like garbage cans that some like these metal garbage cans. Oh, they would look kind of fun with those. Okay. I have ideas. I have ideas. Okay. All right. I'm going to set this here. Hey, danger. Um, oh, Gladys says she's so late. That's okay. Where did I put my bottle of spray? Over right here. Okay. Okay. All right, 
so I did that. Let's see if what this looks like here. All right, I'm trying to see if I can activate it with the heat. Okay, so um, afterwards, uh, Amanda asked a really good question. She asked, do you need to seal this afterwards? Um, what Shannon said was there is a sealer and you can seal it, but it does change the look of it. Um, she has not sealed any of her stuff that she has outside and it's totally holding up just fine. So, um, that's what she said. You do have to give it time to work. It's magic tomorrow. Your tubs will probably look the way you want them to. <laughs> Thank you, Donna. <laughs> Uh, everybody can feel like how I'm feeling. You must be sensing that I'm like, okay, I thought this was going to rust. I thought it was going to rust, you guys. They're going to be like Christmas morning for you. Wake up and get a big surprise. I hope so. I hope so. Um, yeah, because I feel like this one looks like it's rusting up a little bit. I was going for a different look though. Well, like these look, okay, I'll be honest. This looks too perfect. Um, I like these. These both look like rut, like crusty, like rusty and crusty. Like I like how they look all shabby. This one doesn't it look just too perfect. I think I'm going to have to take my sander to it and kind of sand and, and do all kinds of stuff with it. I don't know. Oh, I was like, I think I see a rust. <laughs> All right. So what we did so far, let's chat about it. Um, we use farm fresh on here and then we used the, uh, the iron patina on it. So we got the two coats. We shabbied it back. Um, this one, I'm really, I'm liking this. I think it's going to look really good once it's done. Here we used tarnished pearl and we shabbied that all the way back and then we added the same iron. And this one we used um, French eggshell and uh, we then Ginger Chic Rehab has done this before on some stars. Ooh. Yeah, I should actually. I just did it on metal. I, we should do. We should have did it on something non-metal. I don't. I don't have anything right here. Um, that little bucket is for nuts to crack. Yes, that's what I thought. <laughs> I still think it's super cute. I love it. I'm gonna. I really. I like this whole. I like how it looks all rusty and crusty, or well, shabby. You know. Um, oh, that's good to know. Yvonne, um, from Ginger Chic, uh, seals hers with weather defense. Um, and it's interesting because Shannon said that you don't need to seal it. So I wonder which, um, I'm sure you don't have to, but what I'm thinking for this, I think I'm going to probably sand it. Yeah, I'm going to just sand it up a bit. Give it a make it look a little bit distressed. Cause I because I think it looks too too um too nice. So that's what I plan on doing with this. Um, 
I think she does just because she resells her items. Yes, she said she just uses weather defense for an extra added protection. Okay, so that's what she does. Everyone, please remember to give this video a thumbs up. Thank you, thank you. Um, yes, so I think what I'm gonna do, um, it's a little early, I didn't realize we were gonna get done this quick. Uh, I was really, like I said, I was hoping and praying that we were going to get the, a couple things that I was hoping for is I was hoping that it would run down. Like when I sprayed it, it would run. That's what I was hoping for. And I think what I needed to do probably is just do maybe like figure out how to make my own runs maybe. Um, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm liking the white bucket. I think the best out of all of them, but I might like this. Oh, look at, now I'm having some rust. Oh well, yeah. I'm having a little rust right here running down. I like that. See, I like that. Run, run, run more, run more. That's what I like. All right. We'll see. We'll see. Okay. Any other suggestions for me? You guys think I'm going to wake up tomorrow morning? It's going to be like Christmas. I'm going to have, I'm going to make a Facebook post, show you guys what I did. Um, got it all like rusty and crusty. I'm very excited if that does happen. All right. Okay, guys, uh, it has been fun. <laughs> I don't know. I'm like, we can sit here and watch it, but I don't think it's going to turn until, for a while. I mean, that one you said, someone said about a half hour. Oh, actually, I think this one is turning, maybe. Right here. It is. Yep. I think this one was going to be the best, like one of the best, because I like how it kind of like come, I have, I went outside the lines a little bit. Yes. It's rusting right there. I, I don't think you guys can see it, but right here, right here, it's rusting. And right here. Oh yeah. This one's good. This one's going to good. Good. Okay. Let's see here. Kelly says, I think I'm your I think your big bucket, you need to put another thick coat on and spray it very heavily. This one? Okay, I think I will. I'm just going to let it dry. Um, crackle. Yes, I'll add some crackle. <laughs> yes, tomorrow it will be crusty. Yeah. It's kind of like milk paint. You never know what result you're going to get. Okay. Look at some of her videos because it does happen in the same time while she's doing it. She used a lot of spray. I feel like you guys, I used a lot of spray. Huh. Okay. So do you think I should add another layer to this and then spray it again? Okay. So Martina. You've done this before. Do you think I should add another layer and then spray again? Or do you think I should just hold off and see how it looks? Yes. Kelly says yes. <laughs> okay. It will be fun to see them tomorrow. I really like the little one too. I do too. I really like the little one, how it turned out. Okay. Hold off. Martina says I should hold off, Kelly. Oh, Lisa says yes. <laughs> All right. I think I'm going to just see what happens at this point. I know I wish it would happen like she does use a lot of spray. I really did use a lot of spray, you guys. I really did. Um, so I honestly, I did use a lot, a lot of spray on both of them. Or on, on both of them. On all three of them. I can add more. I'm not going to have any spray left. 
All right. Okay. I do really like the white one. I like the white one too. I like, I actually like the white one and I like this one. I like them both. Um, okay. Let's see. She does. All uh, right. Yes. Okay. Um, yeah, I think at this point I'm just going to hold off and I'm going to show you guys pictures tomorrow. So definitely be watching for that. Watch for the pictures. I might even do a little reel um, if they if it if it's like Christmas morning <laughs> when I wake up tomorrow morning and it's Christmas morning and they're all rusty and perfect. I will do I'll do a reel for you guys. Okay, definitely. Um, if this one doesn't turn out, um, I will do more in the morning, Aunt Kelly, and I'll I'll spray more. Okay, um, and yes, Joan um, Joan's right. It's probably which product. So that is one thing too that Shannon did say, like the copper one, if you would put copper and then I think you add the green, it almost greens up, like it starts greening up immediately. Um, Danger says the little one is a pretty color. Yes, this is Farm Fresh. So I really like that one too. I think it turned out good. This one's pretty too. I think it just doesn't look as shabby as it should. So I think I'm going to shabby that one up. Um, and I think I'm, I am going to paint like the insides, maybe like a dark color. Somebody I think suggested that. All right. So today's Monday, Wednesday, Wednesday. Um, we are, I don't know what we're going to do, but I'm going to go out into the garage and grab some more items and we are going to start working on them. So um, stay tuned for Wednesday. My Wednesday live is at 10 o'clock. Um, AM central time. So we'll see you guys uh, for that. And Susan says, hold off. Yes, I'm going to hold off. Be patient. I will be patient. <laughs> yeah, it needs some distressing for something that will have rust. Yes, this definitely I'm going to, I'm probably going to bring my, maybe bring my, do my sander and like sand it a bit. And I think if it's uh, distressed, maybe I'll add some dark wax to it too. We'll see. We'll just see what I all do to it. Uh, Cheryl says, you just hang in there, gal. You'll get it. I, I hope so. Um, you'll, you will be surprised. Okay. The IOD sisters are killing me with their teasers. Oh my gosh. Did they do another one? I missed it. Um, Kelly says, can't wait to see the buckets and we will see you on Wednesday. Yes. So I'm going to let you guys go early, just a couple minutes early, but yes. Um, oh, Kelly says old dark wax would look good, but does it work with that type of paint? Um, yeah. So if you guys watch my video today, um, over on YouTube, my video that went out, I used Fusions Ingle Nook and then I took DIYs dark wax and I made this like old world feel um, to my table and it turned out amazing. So don't ever think you guys can't intermix products with, you know, different kinds because you can definitely do it. Um, oh, so they gave a sneak peek of a mold. Okay. Which one? I wonder. I don't know. Wow. We're going to have to check that out. I'm going to have to go see, even though I know what they are. But, um, so I cannot wait to give you guys that. And as soon as I find out, we will be going live and I'll be showcasing it all. All right. So you guys have a great night and then we will see you on Wednesday. All right. Bye guys.